This recording will cover the changes to your CFP course in Blackboard, as well as some of the program changes as well for 2015. Again, you need to go to the login page of dalton-online.blackboard.com. Go ahead and log in with your email address and your password. Again, the password, if you um, place the order online, it's the password you created. If you place your order over the phone, the password is Dalton, all lowercase. Once you're logged in, you want to go to the Courses tab in the top right. And then now, this is where you're going to see the biggest change. Again, you'll still be enrolled in this plan presentation course, but instead of five different courses for fundamentals, investments, tax, retirement, and estate, we have now combined all those courses into one course in Blackboard, CFP Self-Paced. So you want to go into that particular course, and then you're going to see the new layout. Again, the first item is announcements. This is where you're going to see all your announcements. Then after that is your syllabi. And within here, we will have all the syllabi for all of the five courses. Again, you definitely want to download these as it gives you a good study plan, as well as with 2015, starting March 1st, we will be going to a midterm exam worth 40% of your grade, and then a final exam worth 60%. The syllabus will detail when you need to take the particular midterm, after which chapters to cover, that's when you will take your midterm. So the syllabus will um, let you know when to do that. After that, this is where you will find your homework answers as well as textbook updates. If you click the homework answers folder, this is where you're going to find all the answers that um, go with your textbooks. And then we also have textbook updates. So if there are corrections to textbooks, we will put that here and you will see the fundamentals textbook does have some errata sheets. So you definitely periodically want to go in here if you think you have found an error in the textbook to see if we have an errata sheet for that. Underneath that, this is where all your chapter lessons are. You can see that we've divided them into five different folders. So if you are working in fundamentals, you just click the fundamentals folder and within here, you will see all the different chapter lessons that you need to work through. And again, as I indicated, the syllabus will instruct you when to take the midterm exam. And we also have a note in here. So after you have finished the above lessons, that is when you want to take your midterm exam. We hope that this makes it a little bit easy, easier to maneuver through the, the program so that you're not going um, between five courses. Everything is just within one particular course. After that, you do have the mini test bank. You want to click this link right here to access the mini test bank. You'll want to work in the test bank prior to taking your midterm exam as well as your final exam. Underneath that, this is where the live exam reviews are. We will be holding live exam reviews March 6th as well as March 13th. March 13th is investments only. We will have the reviews for each of the courses. So within fundamentals, these are the particular slides for the midterm exam review, and then these are the particular slides for the final exam review. Now the reviews, the midterms will be five to seven Eastern time, and then the final is seven to nine Eastern time on the sixth. You wanna print out the slides to accompany you when you're listening to these live reviews so you can take notes. And again, if you can't attend these sessions live, we will post them as a recording in here in this same area so that you can play those back prior to taking your midterm exam as well as your final exam. These reviews are designed to help you for those exams and prepare you to take those. Underneath that is the exams area. Again, this is just where you're going to find all your different exams for your different courses. One thing we do suggest if this is your first course, um, typically fundamentals, you want to go ahead and go to the CFP board website and create an account. That way you can go ahead and get that out of the way so you don't have to do that actually prior to taking the act or registering for the actual CFP exam. Um, and then underneath that, that's where you'll find the midterm as well as the final. And one note, um, again, you do need to complete the plan if you need to complete the plan presentation course. Um, you definitely just want to be cognizant of that and keep that um, in your mind while you're doing your studies. Um, to go ahead and get that completed. So this is just a little bit of information about the plan presentation course. 
And then the last item is the My Grades area. After you take your exams, this is where you can go in and you can actually see your particular grade. Once you've taken an exam, you will have a grade in this area. You will just want to click that grade and another screen will appear and you'll see your grade again. Just click that hyperlink and then that will take you to your particular exam to see how you have answered the questions. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to give us a call at 877-426-2373. Thank you so much, and we hope you enjoy the new design of the course.